But yes, that one of the challenges and one of the things that keeps it interesting is that we never, no two trips are the same. We get a different bunch of people every time, um, different needs and desires and interests, and Olivia uh, always tries to change up, you know, the menu. She, it, in fact, one of her um, biggest concerns is if a lot of times we get people that want to go out more than once, more than once and she yeah. doesn't want to give them the same food no, twice, no. so she'll... Taste exactly. So she'll she'll change things up, and my job too is to change things up as far as where we go and what we do. Okay. Now you brought me to a very important question as we wrap up. Where are you taking us today? Because it's going to be different today. <clears throat> yes. Uh, well, yesterday we went upriver, um, which is nice, very scenic, uh, quiet trip. Uh, today we're going to head from Toucan City down river down to the mouth and probably go outside a little bit. Well, there there's really is, truly, there's a lot to do in this area. Um, so people, you can't see it all, can't possibly see it all in one or even two days. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the southern portion of the river out to the mouth of the ocean. And from out there, maybe um, we can get a view back at the Maya Mountains behind us and up into the Jaguar Preserve area and uh, just see what happens. Hopefully see some iguanas and birds and mm. possibly, if we're fortunate, some manatees in the river that we always have here, our favorites. Wonderful. Well, um, I didn't get my second answer, but um, question answered, but do you bring the kids sometimes uh, yes, 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 with, yes. with the guests? Because I'm sure the guests would love to see the future of Bokotora Bay. Um, our children, Alex and Michelle, love to go on the boat. And they're very personable people, uh, if not for school. <laughs> to, to like Marianne. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they would be out every single time we go. Um, we, we tend to... Uh, let them go if we know there's going to be other children close to their age on board. Um, but we don't like to take them out of school for that opportunity. But I have to say both of them are very capable. They can drive the boat. Not necessarily as well as I can, but probably better than their mother can. Yes. <laughs> and help, help serve and look after people. So it's, yes, yes. I think we have a couple of, a couple of good crew members uh, growing up. So they're genuine partners in development. <laughs> well, Olivia and Alan Stewart, I want to thank you very much for visiting us here on Open Paki and visiting with, with me and Sabrina Popovich over here at, at um, so Thomas is at Tucan City and gosh, I can't wait to get on that river because it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And uh, thank you for yesterday and thank you in advance for today. Welcome. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, okay, welcome back, folks, and we are here. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, okay, welcome back, folks, and we are here at Sir Thomas's at Tucan City. We have Wally Kelly here and his cousin, Bushman, better known as um, Seahorse, and his legal name is Horace. Andrews. Welcome Horace and Wally. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning, morning. Wally is like uh, the, the, the backbone of this organization here at so Thomas's at Tucan City and I'd like uh, Wally and you to talk about um, Tata Duende. Okay. Alright, well first of all uh, Walter is the one who did um, most of the trail, him in the guys who work the run here. Um, I occasionally will come and do some guiding, you know, uh, on the trail. It's one of the best birding and I guess little wildlife to see back there. Um, myself here is a fishing guide on City River or even out to the Keys. And hopefully we'll be helping um, St. Thomas Resort with taking out some trips. And Walter, I don't know what much you got to say. I want to ask Walter. Walter, now um, Horace just mentioned that you really are responsible for setting up Tata Duende. We went, you took us, you took the minister and a few of the guests yesterday a little bit, and we are going to get some more footage of Tata Duende. But tell us what you showed us yesterday, and tell us what Tata Duende is all about. 
Um, Tata Duhende, well, as you know, Tata Duhende here in Belize is a mysterious guy to us here in the in the south in her in her well yeah you said to be in all over but uh to us it's a it's a sort of a tarzan in the in the jungle a belizean tarzan you know so that's what our tata duhende is all about um well no tata is not really a bad guy tata is just a, a man that lives in the bush, you rarely see him. You know, he's kind of mysterious. So if you look, yeah, he, he, he watches over the whole jungle. That's his gig in the jungle. You'll always find him, if you're lucky, find him climbing up a big vine or something, you know, just trying to stay away from society. So tell us, what does the Tata Duende Wildlife Trail all about? Well, it's all about uh, the, the nature of the wildlife, you know, the jungle. It's it's about taking a walk in the in the, seeing the what the wildlife is all about. You could find it all up, all there in Tata. You know, it's not like in around the surrounding areas. You can't find much much wildlife as we do. The flora and the fauna in in the area is is so wonderful. You know. What time of the morning? Now tell us the tours. Do you have like all day tours? Are the birds out all day, or are there just special times of the day and night? And do you do night tours? Well, yeah. Um, mostly, most of the tours are, are recommended first thing early in the morning because that's when you see the most birds for birders. When you say and, early, uh, what time? Like early is like no. Early is like uh, five thirty, six o'clock. Okay. You know, you get up first thing in the morning. And that's the first thing you do with a cup of coffee take a walk in the trail and hear the songs. You could wake up like four o'clock in the morning and just sit down and listen to all the songs of the birds waking up. I heard them this morning at 4.30. What is it like at 4.30 in the morning? I heard those birds. Well, first of all, I took a little tri um, trip down river this morning to go get a sun, um, sunrise picture at the mouth of the river. And for sure we were trying to get you up and the bird was going so loud, I don't know how it comes they didn't wake you, but they wake me. They did wake me. <laughs> they did wake me because I as as um as Sharon came to knock on my door and she says, Rosalie, we're ready to go. Uh the sunrise and they were so loud. But what I wanted to find out from um Wally, Wally, tell me, what is your night tour like? Um, well, it's great. The night tours, you go out in the park at night with your headlights on. If you're lucky, you get to spot a jaguar. And you oh could definitely God. see uh, a, a, um, what we call a night walker. What's that? In the, it's it's uh, like a raccoon, but they come out at night because they're nocturnal. Kinkajou. The, the scientific name is Kinkajou. Okay. But we call them a night walker because they come out at night, only at night. Yeah, and uh, Quatemunde, you can see Quatemundes, uh, Gabe Knot at night, the uh, nocturnal. Birds awake at that time. Um, we have. Well, as soon as it, as soon as the dark setting depends on the moonlight, you know, it's it's mostly when it's dark night, the 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 night animals are nocturnal, so they come out in the dark. Yes. Um. Okay. Wally, what are the other s special features of uh, so Thomas is at Tucan City that, that you and Sabrina offer? Well, we have a... Uh, Bushman. Yeah, we offer kayaking. We offer uh, river trips. We offer uh, bicycling, tubing. We're going to offer tubing, different things like tubing that, you know. Along, the, along the on the city river, yes. Um, trips trips into the... Uh, nothing to worry about. I mean, it's the river, they live in there, you know. Well, you know, uh, I was visiting with a baby croc yesterday at the shaves, at, um, at Mary and Paul's shaves, so we will, that will be a part of the show. <laughs> well, when you say, like, like they say, well, you play with puppy and you get your hands bit, you're playing with the croc, right? <laughs> Well, I want to say thanks very much to Walter Kelly. Uh, Sabrina calls him Wally, and, and of course, he's the backbone of this Sir Thomas's 
at Tucan City, and 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 of course, uh, Dr. Tom Russell unfortunately could not be with us on these uh, two days visits for um, open packy grand opening. Uh, but but we hope to uh, visit with him another time. I want to say thanks very much, Horace Andrews and Walter. Uh, thank you for telling us more, and we want to say. Thank you very much for visiting with Open Paki, and thank you for inviting us here to experience the wonderful features at Sir Thomas's at Tucan City. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, okay, welcome back, folks, and we are here at Sir Thomas's at Tucan City. We have Wally Kelly here and his cousin Bushman better known as um, Seahorse, and his legal name is Horace Andrews. Welcome, Horace and Wally. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning, morning. Wally is like uh, the, the, the backbone of this organization here at Sir Thomas's at Tucan City. And I'd like uh, Wally and you to talk about um, Tata Duende. All right, well, first of all, uh, Walter is the one who did um, most of the trail, him and the guys who worked around here. Um, I occasionally will come and do some guiding, you know, uh, on the trail. It's one of the best birding and, I guess, little wildlife to see back there. Um, myself here is a fishing guide on City River or even out to the Keys. And hopefully, we'll be helping um, St. Thomas Resort with taking out some trips. Mm -hmm. And Walter, I don't know what much you got to say. Okay, I want to ask Walter. Walter, now, um, Horace just mentioned that you really are responsible for setting up Tata Duende. We went, you took us, you took the minister and a few of the guests yesterday a little bit and we are going to get some more footage of Tata Duende but tell us what you showed us yesterday and tell us what Tata Duende is all about um, Tata Duende well as you know Tata Duende here in Belize is a mysterious guy to us here in the in the south in yeah, her he? in her well yeah you, you said to be in all over but uh, to us it's a it's a sort of a Tarzan in the, in the jungle a Belizean Tarzan, you know, so that's what our Tata Duhende is all about. Um, is he a bad guy, a good guy? Well, no, Tata is not really a bad guy. Tata is just a, a man that lives in the bush. You rarely see him, you know, he's kind of mysterious. So if you look, yeah, he, he, see, he watches over the whole jungle. That's his gig in the jungle. You'll always find him, if you're lucky, find him climbing up a big vine or something, you know just trying to stay away from society. So tell us, what does the Tata Duende Wildlife Trail all about? Well, it's all about uh, the, the nature of the wildlife, you know, the jungle. It's, it's about taking a walk and in the, in the, seeing the, what the wildlife is all about. You could find it all, up, all there in Tata. You know, it's not like in our only surrounding areas, you can't find much, much wildlife as we do. The flora and the fauna in, in the area is, is so wonderful, you know. What time of the morning? Now, tell us the tours. Do you have like all day tours? Are the birds out all day or are there just special times of the day and night? And do you do night tours? Well, yeah, um, mostly most of the tours are, are recommended first thing early in the morning because that's when you see the most birds for birders. And uh, early, what time? Like early is like, no, early is like uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Okay. You know, you get up first thing in the morning, and that's the first thing you do with a cup of coffee. Take a walk in the trail and hear the songs. You could wake up like 4 o'clock in the morning and just sit down and listen to all the songs of the birds waking up. I heard them this morning at 4.30. What is it like at 4.30 in the morning? I heard those birds. Well, first of all, I took the little tra um, trip down river this 